Everybody loves to eat spring rolls um, or what's known as egg rolls in America and while you can easily buy pre-made spring rolls in my opinion it's so much better to make your own because it's very very easy especially when you're using pre-made spring roll wrappers and also you know exactly what goes into it now nowadays in Australia you can actually buy Malaysian spring roll wrappers so next time you go shopping keep your eyes out for made in Malaysia spring roll wrappers sometimes you might see it uh, named Gullet Popia, which just means spring roll skin in Malay, right? And the great thing about these is that they're vegan friendly as well. Now, so here are six suggestions on how to use spring roll wrappers. That's three savory and three sweet, and one bonus extra suggestion at the end on what to do with leftover spring roll skin. Vegetable spring rolls. Now I'm using mung bean noodles here. I soaked it in water till it's softened and in the meantime I prepared some vegetables. I had some shredded carrot, mushrooms, bean sprouts and spring onion on hand and what I did was I fried up some onion in oil and then added the noodles and the vegetables and because I wanted to keep this vegetarian, I used some miso, uh, miso paste as the seasoning, although you can use oyster sauce as well, or soy sauce or whatever else you like, right? Um, added some pepper, some seasoning, and some sugar, and some tapioca starch plus water mixed together just to help it thicken up and bind together. Then let it cool down, and then using these large spring roll cheese what i did was place three tablespoons of filling in the middle just make sure they're all evenly distributed fold up the sides roll it up and then fry and there you go vegetable spring rolls quick and easy Samosas. Now samosas, uh, traditionally you would actually make this uh, samosa skin yourself but a quick and easy way to do it is using spring roll wrappers. Now with samosa filling, uh, you can either make it with just vegetable like potato or you can make it with meat like minced meat. In my case, I decided to combine the both. So what I did was I fried up some onion and some garlic and ginger in oil, added some curry powder, some minced beef and diced potatoes added seasoning and salt and water and just simmer till everything was cooked through and let it cool down then in the meantime I make these triangular pouches with my large spring roll wrapper uh, just watch how I do it on camera use some egg wash to help it all stick together Filled it with the filling. seal them up and fry them up and there you go a very quick and easy way to make samosas at home
mini spring rolls. Now I like to make mini spring rolls because they're bite-sized pieces and I like to make them mini when I'm using uh, predominantly meat filling so that they cook easily. Um, now, so in this particular case, I use some minced meat, I use minced beef, though it's usually I would use minced chicken. I uh, added some oyster sauce, pepper, onion, spring onion, sesame oil, seasoning, uh, some egg white, and some tapioca starch as well. You can add some shredded vegetables if you like. In this particular instance, I kept it just mainly meat. So to wrap them up, what I did was I cut the spring roll sheets into four even squares, filled them with two teaspoons of filling, I wrap them up tightly and just flash fry them till they're done and serve them up just like that. You can use a dip like a bottled Malaysian chili sauce to go with it. Have a go! Cream cheese and pineapple. I love cream cheese uh, topping on my carrot cake. So this is kind of the same. What I did was I whisked the cream cheese with some sugar and then cut the wrappers into four smaller squares because I want to make these small bite-sized pieces. Uh, spread each square with some cream cheese, topped it with pineapple. You can use any kind of fruit that you like. Um, more cream cheese on top, rolled it up into these small spring rolls. And then just fry them up till they're done. It's delicious, give it a shot. Banana spring rolls. So what I did with banana spring rolls was I just sliced up some bananas, very very easy, uh, spread some butter on your wrapper, Place the banana slices on top and sprinkle with some sugar if you like or you can use brown sugar, you can use shredded Malaysian palm sugar, gula malaka if you like. Wrap it up, either bake it or fry it up and then serve it sprinkled with some icing sugar and or some chocolate sauce. Give it a shot. Durian. Uh, I love durian. I don't know about you. Um, so what I did was I used some durian pulp and cooked it up with some sugar and a pinch of salt. Let it cool down. Then I filled it in triangle wrapped uh, pouches made from my spring roll skin. and then seal them up and fry them up. It's delicious. You have to try durian pastries made like this.
crispy topping. Now, if you've got any leftover spring roll wrapper after all these uh, experiments, what you can do is shred them up thinly and if you like, you can season them slightly and then fry them in batches in hot oil dish them up and use them as a crispy topping on your favorite meals or you can let it cool down before you store them in airtight containers before you need to use them next time. So there you have it, just a few quick suggestions on how to use spring roll wrappers. Uh, of course, there are all different kinds of fillings you can experiment with. I'd love to hear about your favorite way to use spring roll wrappers, so make sure you tag me if you post any photos on social media. Uh, don't forget to sign up at malaysianchefs.com slash recipes because I'm going to be sending out to everyone who does uh, more tips and also some of the recipes from this series as well. Until next time, I'm Jackie M for Malaysian Ingredients Made Easy.